podcast powered by the Riot Report. We are a proud part of the Riot Network. To my left, 90 degrees, number 57 for the Carolina Panthers, linebacker, also from the University of North Carolina, Tar Heels, baby. I Go love Heels. it. Go Heels. <laughs> We're going to talk. Wear the Carolina strength shirt today. <laughs> We're about to rock 20 minutes of Tar Heel talk, I promise. Oh, man. Andre Smith is here. All right. Thank you yeah. so much for coming. So glad to be here. Thank Absolutely. you guys for having me. I appreciate it. I oh, appreciate it. I our really pleasure. Do. What? So there's been a lot of talk recently about the, the new kind of hybrid defense that Ron wants to run. Um, it, you have you have a little bit of experience as like a conventional linebacker, but is there a difference between three four four three? What what they ran last year? What's happening this year? I think that I think we're trying to be more versatile in defense. Have guys that can uh, also pass the rusher and also you know drop back and everything like that. So mm-hmm. I think that's one of the big switches. But I think um, the three four that we're switching to allows you to attack from many different ways and angles and stuff like that. And I think that the new additions that we have fit the mold pretty pretty perfectly, honestly. Uh, but as far as, you know, going from a 4-3 to a 3-4 as an inside linebacker, I don't really think much changes. Uh, not a, I, I, at first I did, but now that we've installed it and we've been through it, and I mean, we haven't put it to work against anybody, you know, against an offense, but we'll see tomorrow. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, right now it, it still feels normal. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just... Maybe the third backer is not next to you. Mm-hmm. He's just kind of down there on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. So that's really the only difference. What's it like being in the same locker room as Luke and TD last year, but not anymore? But, you know, with veterans like that and, and kind of taking you under their wing and, and teaching you how to be a pro. Man, I'm, I mean, it's a blessing. It truly is. Uh, I still get a little starstruck by Luke. I'm always, yeah. I'm <laughs> always, I'm literally probably always around him. But it's like, dang, that's really Luke Keekly. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, his rating on Madden is a 99. Yeah. Like, he's the best. So, I mean, just, it's a blessing to be able to learn from him and Thomas Davis um, from last year. And just, I think one of the biggest things I took away from TD was just how hard he worked. And you know how he overcame adversity. What he tore his ACL three times. Yep. Right. And then in practice, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell that because the man just goes really hard. He's really intense. And I think you know being able to watch that, you can learn a lot from how to practice as a pro. Because some people get the senses, okay, you become a pro and you just kind of relax, you chill out and practice. No, those two guys, they're at it. Huh? They're at it. They're getting better every day. 